guys, in this video, I'm going to show you a distance time graph exam question. Here's the distance time graph, and it shows the journey of a train traveling from A to C. Okay, so you can see the train is moving here because the distance from A is increasing. Then we have a horizontal line, which means the train has stopped. Okay, it's stationary. The distance isn't increasing anymore. And then the train continues on its journey and it arrives at C. So for part A, it asks us what time the train leaves A. So A is labelled down here at the bottom of the graph and you can see the time just here. So this is 9 o'clock, this is 10 o'clock and there are six little squares in between that hour. So in one hour you have 60 minutes. If we divide those 60 minutes by six, because there are six little squares, we get 10, which means each little square along here is equal to 10 minutes. So if this is nine o'clock, this is 10 past nine, and this is 20 past nine. So we know the train leaves at 20 past nine. So that's the answer to part one. For part B, what time does the train stop at B? So in the question, it tells us that the train stops at B. Okay, so this is B here, okay, where the train is stationary. So again, you just look to see what time that's in line with. And it's in line with 10 o'clock. Okay, so that one's easy. For part C, how many minutes did the train stop at B? So remember I just said each little square along the bottom is equal to 10 minutes. So you can see there are two little squares in line with the horizontal part of the graph. So 10 plus 10 is 20. So the train stopped for a total of 20 minutes. Okay, for part D, we have to work out the average speed between A and C. If you've seen my other videos on speed and distance time graphs, you'll know I like to use this triangle connecting distance, speed and time. So to work out the average speed, we have to divide the total distance by the total time. So the total distance is easy, okay, it's labelled on the graph, it's here, okay, C is at 125 kilometres from A, okay, so we've got the distance. It's the time that's a little bit more tricky. Before I write down the time, I just want to note the time the train left A and the time it arrived at C. So we know from here the train left at 9.20 and if we look at the graph here we can see it arrived at C at 11.50 okay because it's one little square before 12 o'clock and each little square is 10 minutes so 10 minutes before 12 is 11.50. So that makes a total of two hours and 30 minutes for the journey, okay? Two hours from here takes us to 11.20 and then another 30 minutes to 11.50. So because in the exam question, it asks for the average speed and the units are given in kilometers per hour, you need to make sure that you follow those units. So the distance is already in kilometers, so that's no problem, but the time has to be in hours. This is already in hours, the part that's two, but this 30 minutes we need to convert into hours. So I'm going to show you a method that will work for all types of questions when you're turning minutes into hours. You need to add 30, but write it out of 60, okay? Because there are 60 minutes in one hour and to change minutes into hours, you have to divide by 60. And when I write it as a fraction like this, I'm dividing by 60. So now this is two plus half an hour okay 30 minutes so it's it's now converted now it's in this form you can put it in your calculator and work it out and you should get 50 kilometers per hour okay on to the last part of the question it tells us that another train leaves C at 950 and it arrives at A at 1140 without stopping it travels at a constant speed so we need to draw the travel graph for this other train so, because the train leaves at C, you need to start by drawing the graph up here, okay? It doesn't leave from A, it leaves from C, okay? So, I'm going to mark 9.50 on my graph. So, here's 9.50, okay? 10 minutes before 10, so just one little square before 10 o'clock. And so, that 
is where it leaves C. Okay, you can do it a little bit more accurately on an exam question because they give you the grid. Then it arrives at A at 11.40. So 11.40 is four little squares after 11. Okay, 10, 20, 30, 40 minutes. Okay, and it tells us in the question that the train doesn't stop. Okay, so there's no horizontal line. It also travels at a constant speed. So this line to join up the two points is going to have the same gradient all the way through. So you need to take a ruler and your pencil and join those points up. Okay, so mine's not really accurate because I've done it on a whiteboard without a ruler, but that's what you need to do. Okay, that's the idea. So that's part one of E. Then it asks us, at what time do the two trains pass each other? So they pass each other here, okay, where the two lines cross. So what you need to do, okay, you might get different answers if you do this with a partner, okay, depending on how accurately you draw this line. You need to look at your graph to see where the two lines cross. So if I look at my graph, it looks as if it crosses around 10.50, okay? So that would be the answer for mine. Okay, but if you had a little bit more, a little bit less than that when you did it accurately, that's correct as well. I think in the mark scheme, they accept anything between 1040 and 1050. Okay, so they allow a little bit um, of a different answer for this type of question. Okay, so just make sure it matches for the line that you've drawn on your graph.